independent in her bag, oh, I love that She made these other bitches mad, oh, I love that, I love that, I love that What's up, YouTube? It's me, Cashney, the one and only. Hi, y'all. Hope you guys are blessed and in good spirits. And as you may read by the title, this is going to be how I did a soft glam. Is this a soft glam? Is it called a soft glam? This is a soft glam in my books. It might be called something different in somebody else, but in my books, this is called a soft glam because, you know, yeah. But um, this is going to be like how I achieve this soft glam look. Um, If you are a beginner, I feel like this is very beginner friendly. So I pray that you are able to learn something from this video. If you do, please be sure to give this video a like, comment anything you liked about the video and make sure you tell a friend by telling a friend by hitting that share button. And I appreciate your love and support. And let's get into the video. Come on. Okay, y'all, so starting off, you want to always start with a fresh, clean face. So make sure that you wash your face from all excess oils or dirt or any of that stuff. Next, you want to go in with moisturizer. I love using Pons. And for primer, I love the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. Don't trip, y'all. I'm going to make sure I put all of the products in the description below. So be sure to check that out. Also, when it comes to choosing foundation, you always want it to match your chest. Not your neck, because sometimes your neck can have discoloration. So always try to get it to match your chest as best as you possibly can. And as you can see, I did put the foundation down on my neck a little bit. That just helps to give it more of a seamlessly blend. Um, That way, the neck is not a different complexion from the face. Because sometimes, like, the neck can be darker. So, I would definitely add that step if you know you have discoloration around the neck area. And guys, when you're working with your concealer, you always want to go into a shape of like a T or like an angel form. And this is just to help you understand that this is the area that you want to have brighten up to where it's not all flat, but it gives like a pop, you know, and that's the area that you're going to conceal and like basically make brighter. Okay, y'all, so when it comes to blending out, um, a technique that I would like to show you guys is basically I feel like it's best to go in and start from the outer corner and work your way in. So in other words, I'm going to start blending it out on the, the outer corners and then work my way on the inside. As y'all can see, I like a snatch look. And in order to do that, you have to drag the makeup outwards. So, I'm going to just pull it as far as I want it to go. You see that? We love a sharp concealer. And then I'm going to go on the right here, the edges of that. And then I'm going to go in. And when you're doing this, you want to look straight ahead. I feel like it, look, it works best when you look straight ahead or look up kind of. That way you don't put any creases, but lightly tap. So, highly recommend doing that. And I do let the concealer sit probably for like 15 to 20 seconds. Because I feel like it gives like a good matte blend. And I feel like you have more control compared to if it was like wet and liquidy. Always remember when you're doing foundation, like you always want a shade that matches your, not your neck, but your actual chest. You know, and then with concealer, it should always be a shade or two lighter, depending on what look you're going for. Because I know some people that when they just want to wear like a no foundation concealer look, they would actually use concealer that's like their foundation color just to give it like a little snatched. I and for the contour, y'all, I've been having this for a long time. I was supporting a small business, so I don't know the name of this contour. But take any contour that is, you know, darker than your actual foundation color. And you just want to highlight your bridge bone your cheekbones your jaw lines and you can also put it on the top of your forehead and this just helps give your face more definition that way it don't look so flat in one way it actually you know make your um, features pop out and with this i highly recommend to blend 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 do it till you're satisfied but everything should look seamlessly and um blend in but don't be scared to blend y'all and i used a little too much right here but i was okay because i'm like it's still gonna turn out real good I don't know why you're treating me so bad. So bad. You said you love me, don't wanna find me, and I was all you had. And all my heart is in for you, and I can't stop crying. Okay, y'all, so now I'm going in with 
I think that was the Hourglass in Zuni. This is the second um, Castella shade and I'm going in and it's like two times lighter. But I am going out because today is Saturday. So I do want like a bright under eye. So that's the only reason why I'm adding that. Usually when you want like a, a soft natural, you don't want a bright under eye. You don't have to do that. Just do your one concealer that is your actual... That's your actual... <laughs> that's your actual um complexion or a shade or two lighter but this is like two shades lighter yeah so we're gonna blend this out like i said same method going starting with the outer corners and placing it where you want it to go and just blend it out so yeah Next step will be going in with the setting powder or loose powder of your choice. When picking out a setting powder, guys, it needs to be like the concealer, two shades lighter or um, a shade lighter. And this is just to help set the concealer in place. That way it doesn't move and it doesn't crease your under eyes. Let's keep on sipping. Let's make some babies in. Make it official. I feel you inside. Ain't no better feeling. I throw it back in. You catch my drift and you shift in inside. You got me spinning. You got me yelling out. And then I went in with the loose setting powder. Um, and y'all, when it comes to picking out um the setting powder that you want to use to conceal your under cheekbones. Make sure that it is kind of like a shade that is close to the foundation, if not like a shade brighter. And this is just to help set it all in place, but it also gives the um, illusion of like making the face beat and carving out the cheekbones. That way you can get like that high definition and like flawless look. So make sure that you pick out a shade that is close to the foundation color. As y'all can see, I already went in heavy with um, the cream contour. So I'm not going to put, usually I will go in with like a morphine palette, um, a morphine, a morphine palette. And this is in the 8D. And I will usually go in with like one of these two shades to help blend it. But as you can see, it's already there. So I don't feel like, um, I kind of went heavy with the cream contour. So I'm not going to use that because it would just be like more and we don't want more. So, um, I'm going to just blend that out a little bit more. Blend it out really good. Okay. And then next, we're going to take the Curve Case. This is so cute to me. And then for our blush, I'm going to go in with these two gonna tap it with this one first and that just because i love having like a barbie blush why i'm just a girl okay no no, no i'm just a girl that's my excuse for everything <laughs> tap tap and then i go and just tap it on my um napkin and then we just build it up they say time here this boy anthony right here so y'all then i'm gonna go in with the morphe and while my face is baking i'm just going to do my eyebrows as y'all can see i already have like real natural um not to say like that but i have natural thick eyebrows so i'm just going to go and brush them all out and usually I will use like a broad a brow gel, but um I'm going out and I want it to like really stick. This is the one that I would usually use from NYX. And it works very well, but just because tonight and the standards being what they are, and I want to shake my butt and uh, I want my eyebrows to stay in place. I'm going to go in with the duo lash glue. This is the same glue that I use for my lashes, and I'm just going to place that through. Um not a lot a little goes a little way but place that through and let my eyebrows stay in place 
okay y'all and for the brow pencil i think i'm going in with like a dark brown and by me already having thick eyebrows i lightly just do light strokes just to fill in like the gaps or the spaces that i see and um then i go back in with the concealer that i used for my under eye just to conceal and carve out the underneath of the eyebrow so that's basically what you want to do please be patient and know that eyebrows are not twins they're sisters so you know keep practicing practice want to make perfection every time but and everybody eyebrows are different so draw your eyebrows accordingly or do your eyebrows accordingly to how you see fit because some people like narrow straight thin do it however you feel fits best for your face see i did my eyebrows and please know that eyebrows are sisters not twins so not too much and don't be too hard on yourself to get it like baby when i tell you this took years of perfecting the craft that's what it is my love you're going to get it be patient give yourself grace and give yourself time Pace. <laughs> so i'm going to go in with the air spun and i got this trick from Aaliyah j a long, long time ago like real makeup girly um but then you just take a little bit and take off the excess powder and i'm just going to set that and this is just so the concealer does not move and it sets it in place um we are going to go in with like a very new brown because this is going to be like a soft glam look so um you really don't need too much but i like to still set it in place that way it's like the pigment of the colors show like really bright so for the brown i think that like i like that one in there i like that i like the brown that's in the juvia's the warriors um palette for the amazon but i also kind of like that brown so we might go in with that brown So starting off with the Amazon palette, put a lot, make sure you get a lot of pigment. What you want to do is pat it all in. Like as you can see, I'm just packing it in. I'm not even blending for real. I'm just packing it in because like I said, I want the color to be very pigment. It might not look it like, look, I hope it, you can see it. But um, I'm gonna go back in and just pack more because like I said, I want to see like a real new brown. So yeah, then I'm gonna go in and start doing circular motions. And this is how you do circular. This is windshield wiper. Either way, it's blending techniques, but um, I just always like doing circles because I feel like it really gets it. So yeah. Then we're going to take a different brush and I'm just going to go in with this one. And then we're going to go in with this brown right here that I was telling you about. So anyways, now I'm going to go back in with the foundation color, which is I'm just going with this NARS right here, and I'm just going to carve out the remaining of my eyebrows. Uh, do my eyebrows first but um i like kind of like totally forgot and just jumped straight into the face but that's okay like if you're one of the girlies that like to do your eyebrows first do whatever works for you do whatever you're comfortable for i feel like you know just also switch it up don't be afraid to just try it differently or whatever but um yeah this is the eyebrows 
looking good to me and then i went with a darker brown just to put it on my waterline this is just to help like give it a little pop and make the look stand out a little bit more and then i went to dusting off the excessive setting powder this is just to help you know when i use my back camera and my flashlight none of that setting powder is showing in the videos now i do want a bright under eye so i'm gonna go in with the derma blend in translucent to go in with the lips next line loud and this is in rebel kind mitchell um this is the all lip no trip now i'm gonna take a q-tip though and i'm gonna take off all of the um lip gloss that i had on prior gloss anytime that you're doing your um lip liner and it's like real rough and stuff that means your lips is like dry as fuck and you don't want that you want something with a little bit you know, smooth. Cause look how this glides on. Champagne, cold nights when you curse this name. You called up your girlfriends and your girl in that little bitty range. I heard that she wanna go and party. She wanna go and party. Nigga don't approach your whip that Atari. Nigga that ain't good game home is sorry. They say conversation ruin a nation. I can tell, but I could never write my wrongs unless I write it down for real. I do like to overline my lips a little bit. For the lip glosses, we're going to be using Morphe in version. Y'all, I'm really a Morphe girl, and I cannot wait to the day where I'm actually sponsored by Morphe or NYX. Morphe or NYX or NARS. Boss and CEO. Hello, everyone. Boss and CEO here. <laughs> It's coming. It's coming. Even Milani. I'm a little Milani girl too. Like, it really don't matter. I'm just a big old girl. I'm just a girl. Um, but yeah, guys. So I'm gonna go in with the Morphe inversion. And we're gonna start this one out first. Um, I do recommend checking out the link in my bio, a link in my description, and check out my Amazon storefront. Cause I got all type of like little spoof applicators, a lot of good stuff. So make sure you um is checking out that description. So I'm gonna go in and and I also like using like a lip applicator because it doesn't mess up my lip gloss. Because you know if you use this on your lips it'll turn black and stuff and then it'll turn black in there. We don't want that. So I'm going to go with a little more. Cute, right right so what I like to do because I like um my pink to be bright I'm gonna go in with the elf in the white concealer and you're literally just going to take a little bit and I really like using a hanger And I feel like that just helps brighten it up like a thousand. And so, let me let y'all zoom in. You see that? I like that. This Morphe um, drip glass in polished peach. So this one is gonna give it the nude that I'm looking for. Now that the lips are done, it's from MAC Studio Fix Powder Foundation. And this is an NC50. And this is only, I only use this to help brighten up the under eyes. So going back in with the same setting brush. And these foundation powders help as like a barrier to where if you don't want the setting powder look and you want the foundation over it to give like more of a full coverage look, highly recommend the MAC Studio Fix powders. Um, but yeah, I went in with NC50 and that's to keep the same bright under eye as the concealer. And I think I went in with NW43 to highlight the, um, 
where the foundation was at underneath the cheekbone. Back up on my bullshit, back up on the scene. Done dealing with you, don't know how to deal with me. Done fucking with you, don't know how to love me. Done dealing with you, so I, It seemed like I get so much, I don't get nothing back. I really thought it was love, but just so fucking whack. Always get caught up in love, but now you and yeah guys so i just went with my favorite setting sprays and that completed the final look if you did enjoy this video or you like the final look please be sure to tap that like button and if you have any questions um don't hesitate to comment because i'll be sure to respond if you would like to stay connected um, I'll also link all of my socials in the descriptions along with all of the products that was used during this video. But if you enjoyed it and if you stay to the end, I love you, I love you, I love you. Please stay blessed and never pressed, do you hear? But yeah, guys, um, thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, my loves.